Oh my gosh, you guys, we have a door! Like a fully functioning door with the hinges, and check this out. Hey farm fam, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome. Today we are doing part nine of the barn build. So last couple videos we've been working in the tack room. We're actually taking a little bit of a break because it's pretty boring. <laughs> but we are gonna go ahead and work on the stall doors today in this video, so hopefully by the end of this video, we will have doors on the stalls, so I'm so excited. If you guys are excited that the stalls will have doors, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, I have a chance for my post notification shout out. All right, you guys, let's get to building. So in my last update, we basically were just doing tack room stuff. We haven't done terribly too much more. We just kind of filled in these gaps right here and been filling in those gaps. We still have a bunch to do. We insulated it, whatever. And then we got a bunch of rock delivered. This is gonna go at the base of our stalls under the stall mattresses. So we just kind of put this out front here too because it's been such a super muddy mess. So we had to have something that could at least soak up the rain a little bit. So I like this though, it's a lot more compact than going in the mud. So this is where we're at still in the barn. We haven't really changed anything up in here. This has just been our drywall setup, but we're gonna go ahead and get working on those stall doors today. We bought all the hinges. So we have these cool black like fancy looking hinges. Mike is just measuring. And then we will be going into the garage because we're actually gonna be welding the doors. We're gonna be using our metal U-channels. So this is basically the concept. Obviously these channels are really big, so we have to cut them. We're basically making a big square like this and it's gonna land up right there. And then we'll put boards inside of the giant metal square door that we make and then it's gonna line up just like this along here. So it's gonna just look like cohesive across with all the boards, so it should look really good. So we're just getting the measurement now of how far apart they need to be. And then we're gonna go stall by stall, just in case any of our entry like ways on um, the boards got wider or shorter. So we're gonna start this one now. Also you guys, a lot of people keep asking like what we're gonna do to cover all like the wood so the horses don't chew and stuff like that. So this exactly right here, we've got our metal channels. So I just put the first one on and then Mike's gonna put the second one on. We need to cut this one, but just for like the look of it. So this is the idea. So they're not gonna be able to chew on the wood. Basically just saves the wood from little chew marks, but it looks so sleek, you guys. And it's gonna match the doors and stuff and match all the other metal accents in here. So I'm really excited about this. Hi, bagel. You coming to take out the barn? This is like his first time getting this close over here. Come in. You can sit right there. That's as far as you're going today. All right, so we're in the garage and this is where we're gonna be welding everything. Well, Mike is gonna be welding it. So basically we're just taking our big clamps and squishing it together so that we have really nice corners right there. And then we're using this piece of wood for reference because that's how long it has to be. That still needs to be squished in a little bit and then he'll weld them. And then he has a second board up there and this will, all the boards will just slide in. All right, so first couple welds are done and it's looking really cool so far. So now basically this is gonna be the same setup that we have to just keep doing. He just took the clamps off and then now he's gonna flip it over so that he can weld the other side and weld the corners. Yay, does it feel sturdy? Cool. So this is the making of the stall door. So it's welded. And now we just need to fill it up with boards, so we gotta go back to the barn and see how it looks. All right, you guys. Moment of truth. It's a little too big. And this is what we call trial and error. Yeah, it's a little too big. Okay, so this door isn't useless because like I said, we have to do each door like individually. So, cause for some weird reason, the company that installed these, like these don't really like, each post isn't online, if that makes sense, as the same measurement. So this one fits really nicely, it's not too tight. I mean, it could be a little bit looser, but we still have a gap there for hinge and still have a nice gap here for the door to open. So this one actually is gonna work 
really well. So we just brought all the metal channels back here because, what are you doing back there? <laughs> because we have to actually put the channels on like the sides that we plan to now so that we can get more accurate measurements and that's just gonna look really nice. So I think we're gonna do that now. So we're just jumping all around in this vlog basically. <laughs> All right, you guys, so the first section is done. It looks so good, so sleek and clean and matches perfectly with like the metal accents. I know in one of my previous videos I talked about that maybe we would do that curve. Um, so we were gonna do that, but then we just figured that the horses may just chew on it so that it would be like a really bumpy curve. So we did need these chew stoppers, so that's why we just did it this way. Of course, it would have looked probably cuter if we did the arch. Like how we originally had wanted to because we got that idea from a subscriber, but I think this looks really nice and it's gonna match the doors perfect and we just have to keep continuing on. All right, you guys, so we have this done and it looks so good. It really just ties everything in. It's just like a nice aesthetic detail and also it helps for the chewing so they won't chew like I mentioned. And then this is just kind of what the door is gonna look like just because I was so excited because it's very dark and late at night. So we have to stop here. This was a big pain getting these on, a lot bigger of a pain than we had thought. Our screws are just being not good right now. They just keep breaking and whatever, it doesn't matter. But I wanted to just play around and see what the door was gonna look like, so this top is not on, that's why it's just like leaning up a little bit. But this is what it's gonna look like, I just threw some boards in it, so it's gonna look so cool. And Mike and I were just talking about putting like a metal X on it, so just for like a detail, so I think that would look really cute. Let me know in the comments what you guys think if we should put a metal X on there. I was just thinking maybe wood, and then Mike gave the suggestion of metal, since like our details are metal, so I really like that metal idea. So yeah, this is what it's gonna look like. The door obviously will be raised up a little bit, but, I'm so excited about it. So now if we just kind of compare, I have just a metal piece sticking over there. But this, and then this. This, and then this. It looks so coming long, we have a lot to do. But the easiest part of all this has really been the doors. This was a pain, but the doors have gone super smooth. We've only done one, but it was really quick. So I'm excited about this. All right, you guys, it is day two of this vlog. It's gonna be the last day of this vlog because we are going to get a lot of stuff done. So and I want to show you guys so badly because we have doors, um, well, one door, and then um, we have to make more doors today and finish up the trim and stuff like that. But I'm super excited, so we just need to get right into day two. I look like a mess, but this is what it looks like to work on the barn every single day. So it's been fun, but I'm excited because today we're going to have a lot of progress and it's going to be so exciting, guys. If you guys are excited for this day two of this vlog, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up because we're going to get a lot done today. But first, we have some help coming over today. So we need to clean up a little bit because we have a giant mess. And it's okay if Mike and I work in a giant mess, but I don't want to make others work in a giant mess. <laughs> so we're going to clean up a little bit, so let's time lapse. Okay, now that everything is much cleaner and less stressful, we still have a little bit over here to go, but we're not really working on this area, so it should be fine. But, oh my gosh, like 
a thousand times better. Okay, let's dress well and we're ready to work. All right, you guys, so the door is almost done. They're just putting the top cap on. And we have all of the guards on now for here. And then obviously the guard for here. And then we can hinge it up and then we'll have a working door. All right, the clamps are off, so now we're just using this two by four. Basically, we're doing this small, technically one and a half inch space, and this will be for mats and stuff like that, so nothing gets caught up underneath it. So now, as you can see, it's perfectly level with our sides because we just cut this bottom board the same exact gap size, so then our lines matched up, so all the lines match up, and it's just all super symmetric. Oh my gosh, you guys, we have a door! Like a fully functioning door with the hinges, and check this out. And it is such a sturdy door. Like, I'm so happy about this door. It's not flimsy at all. It's exactly what I wanted. We're still gonna, um, like, cut these back the screws off, so don't worry about that. But it's perfect. It's super heavy. It just feels awesome. I'm so excited about this door. I don't know why, but I hope you guys are too, because, like, this is amazing. So we still have the other doors to do. We're probably not gonna get to them in this vlog, but as you guys saw last night, we did this door, and um, it didn't fit actually for the first stall, but it did fit perfectly for this stall, so we just have to put this one up. So we have two doors technically done, um, like done being made. So then this one just has to get hinged, and then we just have three doors left, one, two, and three. And just look at it, it just looks so amazing. I can't believe it, it lines perfectly up here, and all the lines, are perfect on there. Obviously the door's open, but then um, my brother-in-law has been helping today and then also my dad came over and helped today um, to help spackle the tack room. And Mike and my brother-in-law were getting the rest of the drywall up when my dad was spackling it. So we have all of this drywall done. Just this little piece up here at the top needs to put on with the spackling. Oh my gosh, this was such a big help because I was kind of dreading this part, but I will do it tonight and try to almost finish. So basically half of the room is done and then this half has to go. So I'm so excited. Then we just have to sand it and paint it and put baseboards on, but the tack room is getting done. We've had a lot of help today, so that's been awesome. And after this vlog, like after it's posted anyways, we're gonna continue on. And I'm just so happy. I can't believe we actually have a door. Like I wanna show you guys, hold on. Ready? So like, of course in. Cool. All right, you guys, so that wraps it up for this vlog. I wanted to at least get a door on in this vlog, so we did, but I have so much more to do today, my actual real time, but I'm gonna go ahead and edit this video and get it up so you guys can see it. I'm super excited. I hope you guys like today. I hope you guys are getting so excited about these stalls because we are about to have doors probably after today. 
of when you guys are seeing this. I'm so excited. So if you guys like today's video and are excited about the stall doors, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, I have a chance to have a post notification shout out today. Shout out goes to all you guys. I love you and I'll see you in the next one.